Now let's practice finding equivalent resistance. Part A. Find the equivalent resistance for these three resistors in parallel. They are in parallel, so the equation is the 1 over equation. 1 over equivalent resistance equals to 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3. And this equals to the common denominator 8, and that's 4 plus 2 plus 1, so it's 7 eighths. And that means uh, to find the equivalent resistance, we'll have to flip both sides. So this is 8 7 ohms. So that's the answer. Part B is 3 resistors in series. For resistors in series, the equivalent is just the R1 plus R2 plus R3, so 2 plus 4 plus 8, which is 14 ohms. Part C, find the equivalent resistance for this combination. For this one, we can start with the 2 and 4 in parallel. And then together, they are in series with the 8. So these two in parallel, we do 1 over, this equals to 1 over 2 plus 1 over 4, so this will be 3 fourths, and then we have to remember to flip this, so the equivalent is 4 thirds of an ohm. But this is only these two in parallel, and then so the equivalent to this thing is 4 thirds of an ohm and 8 ohm. They are in series. If they are in series, we can just add them, so the equivalent will be 4 thirds plus 8, which gives us 28 third ohm. So that's the answer. How about part D? What is the equivalent resistance? For this one, we would first look at the 2 and 4 in series, and then together they are in parallel with the 8 ohms. So we take care of this one first. 2 and 4 in series means it's 2 plus 4, 6 ohms. So the equivalent to this one is 6 and 8. They are in parallel. So it's 1 over equivalent resistance is 1 over 6 plus 1 over 8, which gives us 24, and that's uh, 4 plus uh, 3. So this is 7 24th. But then we have to remember to flip over, and that means the equivalent resistance is uh, 24 divided by 7 ohms.